Philadelphia has spots that are covered with trees and maybe a few here and there in neighborhoods, but most of the city is concrete with very little shade and that can push high temperatures even higher on hot days like today. Now this is what's known as the urban heat island effect. That's right. It poses some challenges as the city tries to deal with this weather. Josh Sanders has more from the Hyundai Next Weather Sphere. The city of Philadelphia is considered an urban heat island. Take a look at this map we created. Urban heat islands are where concrete traps heat and makes hot days even hotter. The purple areas you see have the highest concentration of roads, buildings, and a lack of green space combined with the number of people living in these neighborhoods. Here's how one nonprofit is partnering with the city and neighbors to beat the heat. It's just hot outside. Dangerously hot. Irving Caldwell is a proud Southwest Philly native. Tuesday, tucked into the shade, doing his best to outlast the brutal heat. To the day I die, what an avenue. I've been from around here, my family raised down here and everything else, man. That's about it. Just stand and see where I'm at under the tree. It's one of the few trees in the neighborhood, but just around the corner is a different story where the city becomes a countryside oasis. It's the oldest surviving botanic garden in the country. Bartram's Garden is a 50 acre National Historic Landmark where the temperature is a little cooler than the city streets. Southwest Philly has less than 10% tree canopy outside of Bartram's Garden and those blocks can be 20 degrees hotter on a day like today. That's because the city of Philadelphia is considered an urban heat island according to Climate Central where concrete and asphalt absorb the sun's heat, making already hot days feel even more intense. It's a health issue. The city of Philadelphia released its first ever urban forest strategic plan in 2023, the Philly Tree Plan, laying out a 10 year strategy to grow the tree canopy and engage neighbors in fighting climate change. We're lucky we're standing in the shade, but if somebody's at home, maybe they don't have air conditioning or they don't wanna pay that high utility bill, they're really feeling the heat in those really hot, unshaded neighborhoods. Caroline Winshell with Bartrams is working with the city. We're working with a lot of our partners and our neighbors here in Southwest to plant trees uh, on sidewalks and in folks' front yards, backyards. Hoping to bring greenery beyond the park and a lasting cool on hot summer days. Josh Sanders, CBS News, Philadelphia.